Silk survives in Nalahan thanks to this way which has been a station for the Silk Road for many years. The women of Nalahan still revive the silk yarns by processing them on their talented hands. Silk point lace can be the voice of silent and the words that cannot be told. When the dough tests made of walnut tree are opened with the odor of naphtaline, when the bride's family sends the bundles to groom's family, when the fiancé is sent off to military service, the embroideries begin to talk. A blanket is folded with ivory embroidery with the wish that the mother-in-law enlaces the bride and put in the bottle and then sent to the house of groom. There is no pepper embroidery for wishing that there is no acridity. There is no bone ivy for wishing that the bride doesn't seem like bone. Many secret feelings and the wishes for the fortune that begin to talk and become the prayers and be aligned on laces. Those expert hands processing the embroideries do miracles in kitchen with the stuffed grape leaves, kapama rice, feast bun and a dessert called as Kashmirim. Nalahan is not only touching the tooth of people of the region but also of the ones passing through Nalahan. The restoration works have been continued with two storied stone and frame houses with cowing wooden balcony that challenge the time with the aim of ensuring that the history lights today and our values survive for a long time. When you reach Nalahan, you find yourself in the biggest bird sanctuary of Turkey after Manyas. The Vutolan Bird Sanctuary, which is on the migratory route coming through the Bosphorus and the Dardanelles hosts many birds, some of which are about to extinct. Let's leave the birds in their heaven and continue our trip on the Silk Road. Having little information about his life and personality except his poems, it is thought that Yunus Emre was born in the basin of Central Anatolia around the middle of the 13th century and lived until the first quarter of the 14th century. His life concurred with the time when the Ottoman dynasty began to be founded. Yunus Emre is a poet and a saint who first had been to the convent of Hacı Bektaşi Veli and then sent to the convent of Tapduk Emre in Nallahan. He describes his experience at the convent of Tapduk Emre as I am wrapped in flesh and bone and seen as Yunus which express his spiritual journey. Bajim Sultan, the daughter of Tapduk Emre, Sultan of Peace and Service, sitting on the shade of a tree while she was travelling to the house of Groom after being mounted on the horse on the day when she was married, saying that, I am halfway through. Tell the groom to come beside me to complete the other half of the way. Bajim Sultan, they're told she is equal of the man he married. Then the groom had gone to that tree and they had lived in the dervish lodge which they had built there. The Ottoman period architecture can be seen when you are visiting Nallahan, where the mosques and inns had got done by Nasuh Pasha while he was turning back after the Ottoman-Iran agreement in 1599. Stated as being built by Nasuh Pasha in Epitaph, Kojahan is a masonry building in the shape of a rectangle. It's been understood by the 46 chimneys that this building has 46 rooms. The water spiraling on the meadow close to the top of Sarıçaşlı mountain covered with pine trees meets with a steam bed after being poured down from 50 meters. Watching this waterfall hitting the rocks with a magnificent image takes the exhaustion of life left on you.